Good morning, this is Jeff with Eternity Shore and our boat is out of the water and anything in our marina that was gonna come out is out by now because they're done pulling boats. There are several big boats that are still here, a bunch of sailboats that I guess are not coming out of the water this, uh, this winter. I have come to the marina to continue the process of winterization and prep for, for next spring. There are a lot of things that need to be done on the boat, including uh, the need to pull the outdrive, have to pull the starboard side outdrive because the bellows is ripped, probably both bellows, but also uh, once you're in there, you wanna do everything else. Uh, today, I'm not exactly sure what I'll get done, but what I'm gonna attempt to do is to change the oil on the generator and uh, I'm gonna add fuel stabilizer to the diesel fuel that we have for the generator. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is start draining the generator of oil. Now, I'm not making a full video of this. I did last year um, and it was a pretty good video because um, you really want to change the oil of the generator when you're able to use it like warm it up so the oil um, is easier to, to drain out and then when you fill it with oil you're going to want to run it again just to check the, the uh, levels. I can't run this generator because we already winterized it because the temperatures were dropping so we winterized it already so I can't really run it um, but I do want to change because I have time now want to drain the oil and change that filter, which was a big giant pain in the neck last year. I will film uh, a little bit because I want to show you whether or not I get this filter off. Remember last year, the this is a this was a new generator, and I felt like they painted practically this filter on. I'll show you the I'll show you the filter right now. This little guy is the filter, and last year I could not get it off. This is where the drain is for this generator. It's right here. All right, so again, I pulled pulled this off the hose, uh, lowered that in here, and unscrewed the uh, oil just to release the pressure there. That's gonna take a pretty long time. There should be, I think about two, two quarts. Should fill this up about halfway. I had purchased these, especially to get this, this guy off last year but it would not come off. So we're gonna give this a try. Moment of truth. It's gonna be tight enough, because this is a small filter. And look at that, perfect. I think we used the generator another 20 hours this year, 25 hours. Um, but I will I will check on that. But regardless of that, you should change the filter every year. And uh, like last year, same little filter, same little guy. Here's right here. So I will screw this on. I don't need to show you that. Can figure that one out. So why that's draining oil. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do while I'm here today is I'm gonna check the impeller on both the starboard and port engines. Um, for those of you who don't remember or didn't watch, starboard engine shut down on our last trip, so I had to replace the fuel pump again. The last one was just a year old, so I replaced the fuel pump and that solved that problem. But I also want to make sure that there was not overheating. So I want to check the impeller, which is uh, under here. So there's a bracket here that you need to take off. So I'll take off that bracket and we'll take a look at the impeller uh, to see what its uh, state is. This is a 14. bracket. No, I think you take these screws off here, which also may be, there's 
four of them one in here two three four and so you could do that with a socket or a screwdriver I think you should do a socket as soon as you strip it I'll try this okay that's coming out stuck. Right. I'm taking the housing for the impeller off right now. A better view of it. So there it is. Um, so I'll scoop that out. Uh, first clearance, it doesn't look bad. Okay, so it's not burnt. You know, the fins are going in a direction, but I don't think that's a problem. All right, this is the starboard side one, and this is why you have to pull them every year. This impeller is all chopped up. So let me pull that out. I'm gonna replace this one, obviously. All right, we're going with the assumption now that the oil has been drained out. You just need to put the clamp on there. About two quarts of oil that came out. This calls for uh, API service. I can't remember which one it is. Is it CK or CJ? All right, I'm gonna just pour uh, some in there and then uh, the dipstick I think is right here. So we'll take a look at that when we're done. Last year I failed to stabilize the diesel fuel because I just totally forgot about it. We have a diesel generator that we have diesel tank now, and I didn't even think about it. It was fine, apparently. There's only about two gallons of diesel in there. So I bought some stabilizer, and I will put it in now to make sure that uh, the two gallons or so that I have left in there get stabilized and doesn't go bad. So this whole bottle treats 250 gallons, and I basically have just two gallons left. So, I need one 125th of this bottle. Ever so a little bit of it. Okay, I think a fairly successful day. Just to review, we changed the oil and the oil filter on the generator. Check. We've checked the impellers on both engines. Thought the port uh, starboard one might be a problem, but actually the port one was ripped up. So, I didn't put them in yet because I need to get another impeller but I'll put them in later and we did uh, fuel additive for the diesel and I can't remember what else we did besides bopping around and checking different fluid levels so there's a lot to do this off season more than I really wanted but little by little we'll get there hope uh, you're thinking about boating wherever you are here comes winter get ready have a great day appreciate your comments like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Ciao.